Hi, it's my time to shine. We will be doing a sign of Virgo here for the strawberry moon. We're going to see what's the energy surrounding the Virgos. This is the time where you got to put in your manifestations verbally. You could be extra tired, things like that. Emotions could come back up. The past could come back up, things like that. But literally, if you put your manifestations out, they will be really like get enhanced. So let's see. What's the energy surrounding the Virgos? We're going to start off with an Oracle card. Low vibes, bad energy. Yeah. Um, Virgos, a lot of them do. Not all, but low vibes, bad energy, low vibrational person, energy that feels dark, dense and heavy, harboring, suffering, fear, and anger. Yeah, this could be you, the bottom line, or there's somebody in your energy, but yeah. So with that coming out, that's already a whole nother lead. So let's see what's coming out with your reading. What's going on with the reading? Well, before the reading, we're going to see what the moon got to say about the Virgo. Okay, you have a time to give, then take. Yes, a lot of them don't. They always got their hand out, but I don't want to give to somebody else. Yeah, a time to give, then take. That's what it says for Virgos, new moon and Virgo. That's what you need to be doing. You got to start giving and stop always taking from people. Yep, 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 yep. That's the divine talking to you. So let's see what you're reading going to be talking about. Universe, spirit guides, holy angels. We're going to see what's the energy surrounding these Virgos here. universe spirit guides whoa okay the virgo energy came straight out with the hermit saying you need to go in and meditate it's something that got let's see before i even get deep because it's crazy all your cards came out like put out all right virgos i see there's a lot of confusion around you you need to go within more. In the past, you was happy that you was fully happy with someone or just your emotions was in check, but you was happy. But it seemed like that you was in a third party situation or something hurt your heart in the past. It don't even have to be a relationship. Sorry, Virgo. It's going to be two parts. This alarm went off. But yeah, like I was saying, it looked like you having family problems. You're just unhappy. It was like you was happy, then it went down to something hurt your heart and you unhappy and you've been unhappy. You unhappy within. You you show something different. You show something different around others. Present energy is something got too much ups and downs to continue. This could be friendships in your life, business partnerships in your life. Um, this could be all types of shit in your life, Virgo. It looks like it's just too many ups and downs to continue. It's like you just you you trying to figure out. You wait for your ships to come in, but they're not really coming in. You could be dealing with the Aries. Um Present energy. Future is like you don't have no love to give nobody. You're not even loving yourself. Again, you could be dealing with the Aries or you could just be an arrogant, ignorant person. Um, This could be you or this could be somebody in energy. But basically what the Aries card is saying that you're an arrogant, ignorant person. Like you just too boastful here. You are starting to come up out of overthinking a lot of shit here. But it's like you don't want to leave the past behind. You like to stay in lives. You like to stay in the past. You're not closing cycles off in your past, Virgo. And it's like something's coming back from your past again, but their cups is empty. 
It's like, it's just like empty emotions, empty love, like a bitter person. This is the energy I'm seeing here um, for you. Like, that's crazy, but it is what it is for the Virgos. Peace, light, and blessings.